What's going on guys? I have in and out today, so we're gonna be eating a little little burger and a little animal style fry action. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I hope you all are doing well. I got I got a double double. And I got animal style fries. So that's what we're gonna be eating today. Um yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your life is happy. I hope you guys are thriving out there. I'm going to turn off my car now so there's not a sound in the entire video. But yeah, let's just get right into it. It's not like I'm trying this for the first time. I've, I've definitely had my fish with in and out Trust. That's a little good. I have not eaten that much today, so I'm very happy with this. It's really good. Oh, that didn't look too bad. That was pretty good. I was going to say, my camera sucks normally, but... For the internet, it's like... I got you, girl. So I got... I got my... I got my fifth parking ticket in three months. Like, my fifth. I know the last video I was talking about how I got, what, like, three parking tickets. And I had to pay them all for dumb reasons. Or, like, four parking tickets. Well, I got two more. Literally, on my birthday, I walked out and saw on my dashboard... But I got another ticket. And this time, it was because I was blocking a little bit of a fire hydrant. And so they couldn't get in to the fire hydrant. I mean, it, it didn't actually happen. There was no fire. But um, I guess if you're ever parked on the street in Los Angeles and you're blocking a little tiny bit of a fire hydrant. Um, yeah, don't do that because you'll get a $120 ticket. Well... Mm. The way I got my burger was just sauce, meat, and cheese. And that was it. I'm honestly so hungry, I'm just like eating. But it's really good. Man, living in LA is so freaking expensive, dude. I feel like every minute there's another charge. But it's okay. I mean, you know what I realized today, though? Like, I'm broke, right? I realize that I have a really, like, addictive personality. Because I haven't worked in the restaurant industry in, like, probably like a year and a half just recently came back to it and a big problem for me when I used to be a server was I would like vape a lot like Nick vape and it's just like everywhere like everyone has these things like even even the customers like even the dogs that they bring in even the dogs vape like everyone vapes in the restaurant industry like it's so omnipresent that it's like it's starting to like trigger me again just being there it's almost like when you drink you also vape because they like go together I feel like that's the restaurant industry and vaping <laughs> but it's really bad it's really bad for you I'm not like 21 years old anymore I can't walk around looking cool and vaping so I have to literally stop that and if anyone else is like addicted to anything like that just know you're not alone and we're all you know you're just you're not alone and i the next time i post a video i will not be vaping but right now i wonder if i can even say that word on youtube honestly <gasps> i wonder if i can 
Oh well. It's not like a monetizer or anything, so. Okay. Time for the animal soft fries, because I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. All right. In and out. Um, I mean, animal soft fries. <sighs> My brain is like, okay, see what they look like. You want to see what they look like? <laughs> they look really good. Ooh. Ooh. They look really good on here, man. Maybe I got the lighting down finally or something like that, but. All right. Okay. I'm going to take a bite. I can't really do it in front of the camera, but. Jeez. Oh. Oh, that's a good bite right there. Tastes good. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. Animal style fries are like, the first time you try them, you're like, oh, they're pretty good. Yeah, they're not too bad. They're pretty good. And then the next time you get it in and out, you're like, I might as well just get the animal style fries on the side. I mean, you know, might as well just make an animal style fries. Because their fries aren't, like, amazing or anything, so it kind of makes them better. And then the next time you get it in and out, <laughs> you're going to be like, ah, I can't get the regular fries. Just got to get them animal style. So that's kind of what ends up happening. But I mean, hey, they're really good. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish these. Oh no, oh no, there's a homeless man. Wheeling a shopping cart around. Oh man, I always feel bad when that happens. Man, uh, I, saw him. I always feel bad when that happens because I'm like, I'm like sitting here eating in and out and this guy's like searching through the garbage for freaking food right now. I literally hate this. I don't know what to do in these situations. If I wasn't home, it would be one thing. If I wasn't home, it would be one thing. But I just don't have anything right now. That's another thing about LA is there's like there's a lot of homeless people and you just like feel so bad because you're in such an expensive place and it's so beautiful and there's so much wealth here and then you'll like be looking at Santa Monica Pier and it's just the sunset is stunning. Sunset is like reflecting off the cliffs with the trees and then you see like homeless people just sleeping on the bench and you're just like you basically just see that whole, like, that class divide, like, right in front of your freaking face. And it's just like, I don't know, what do you do? I mean, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, but at least I have food to put in my mouth and, like, a roof over your head. That's what I'll end this video on. If you have a roof over your head and you ate something today, or you know where your next meal is coming from, be grateful, and you are blessed. And until next time, thank you for having in and out with me. Love you guys. Bye!